All right. Watch the back. Watch the back. Let, let's, right. let's, let's, let's rewind, rewind for a second. Let's, let's, let's rewind. Rewind. rewind for a second. Yeah, yeah, yeah. For, 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 for All right. Let me go. Let me go as far as you realize that you can DJ. You practice that one song. You start up on a revolution, which is a Dennis Brown record. Right, right, right. right. And you, you realize that you can DJ yeah. the song. You fit the song on several different rhythms, and you realize that you still had the, you still had the capacity and still have the the flow and energy to right. ride the rhythm really properly. Yeah, so you realize yeah, that. I'm going to continue from there. But guess what? That's the only lyrics I had. That's the only lyrics I had. Because guess what? I didn't know how to compose nothing at all. Right? So yes. you used to have a little sound in August Stone named General. This was before the Silver Arc or whatever. This little song named General was yeah. the song that everybody as area DJ practice on. All right. The ace DJ in August Stone back then was Big Ed Balzi that used to select and Silver Arc. Big Ed Balzi, I heard him. Yeah, them man, they used to run August Stone. Them man, they, as a deep used to DJ them used to run August Town. Yeah. With a one lyrics there, and me come take with him short. <laughs> <laughs> See? With a so one get bars there. again, liquid slap with yeah. yeah. With a one lyrics there. Watch the style now. Me did have to find some more lyrics. Zane, me did have to find some more lyrics. So here you know this is when I turned to Brigadier the General and said, hey, what? Yo, I want to be a cultural DJ. I don't want to be a slap DJ. So, listen to Brigadier and put on some of Brigadier thing and drop in a few of my lines. And you understand me? Until I start actually know how to put a few lines together so I can build something for myself. See? Yeah. Um... When I start to DJ in general, general, um, I want to tell you, you know, I kind of feel it now. August Stone start embrace I man. You see me? The people them start embrace I man. And 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 and, and my sister boy, listen now, you know, say that thing I look like me can make a money or me can make a break and 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 and, and, and eat some food. So back then you have to have a major song, like a song that you're that that you're that you're you're the station DJ, yeah. yeah. You're the main DJ for that song. So and a song that you know have a name. Yeah. So you know the the joining community to August Town is Ellis and Flats. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's the Flats, yeah. So there was a sound system from Ellis and Flat named Black Star that Tiger used to DJ on. Yeah. Yeah. Then I become the permanent DJ for Black Star in 1981. Zane? So oh, so, oh, you just, so oh, you just left from a general kind of around yourself and just go in a Black Star for a quick second No, no, no. take no. over? Well, I know, I watch this now. Watch this now. When I go to Black Star, it was a youth named Danny Dredd. Great Danny Dredd, yeah, man. No, not not Danny Dredd from Walter. You know, there was a, oh. you see, them thing in history now, you know. There was a yeah. whole lot of Danny Dredd in the business back then, you know, Ooh. you had a Danny Dread from Tavern where you used to mm -hmm. sound just like Brigadier Jerry. Me and him used to go poppy in school together. Me, him, and Anthony Malvo. Zane, you have that yeah. Danny Dread, and then you had the selector that used to select on Black Star Sound. We used to call him Danny Dread also. But the original Danny Dread is the Addis Danny Dread, the socialist roots Danny Dread. Him is the original Danny Dread. Yeah. And then you have the Danny Dread from Waltham used to DJ from Zodiac. So it was a, a whole lot of Danny Dread. But anyway, um, one night, you know, there's a, a during the, the festive season, um, Black Star I play in a puppy in square. Mm -hmm. And you know, go around there and anchor like dark uh, about them time then you can't just go take up people, Mike, or a move towards all some people, Mike, you know. Yeah, run them, run your way and shame me, you know. You see, worse them the new them don't know much about you or nothing about you. Yeah. And I ain't like a dog, you know, like when a dog I ain't for a bone, you know, and wait until everybody move from around the sound and 
said to that um the, the selector, we changed him name to Smokey then eventually and said, look, um yeah, talk off of the microphone now. So you can beat you. So me can do a thing. Listen, you know, so me can do a thing. Yeah? But I say, you're not sound too confident. Yeah. Me say, yes. me say, me say, me say, can, can do a thing, man. You see me? And give me the mic. Give me the microphones in and cool face from, from December. I remember vivid as day. From December 1981. Yeah? He had five nights. Five nights. Because it was during the festive season. Christmas yes. Eve, Christmas, Boxing Day, all our five nights. Zane. And after I put over the car, I never stop DJ till them turn off the song. And I say, yo, we have, we have five dates, you know. Yo, 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 you want to come, 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 talk, talk the song for the five nights there. Eh? And I say, yeah, man, what do you mean? Fireball, listen up, five nights in a row. Zane. The first me I exercise for vice them way they watch this. So for the five night, fifty dollar the man give me for the five night. What? Ten dollar a night? Yeah. Fifty dollar. That was a, a decent pocket change in time then. Oh, you right? need decent pocket change, but rich. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, It's in the blue the, the blue money, the blue uh, ten dollar them. Yeah, fifty dollar. Me I say, it's when we get the fifty dollar. Me I said, Jaja, fifty dollar just because DJ is it, like it was a I love it, you know, but it was like a hobby because it's like we, we weren't doing it for money, so to speak, you know. No, yeah. seriously, you know, the money was secondary. So when we get the fifty dollar now, yo, I'm back then, you know, back then, you know, one US back then was maybe for about a dollar fifty. One US back then, 1981, was maybe, I don't think it was more than $2. So $50, what? Force me a DJ and get a money. Yeah. So start this up, $50, till it moved to go right up to $200 a night. That may I tell you. Yeah. And guess or no? I remember someone used to say, yo, but here you are. You have your record. You have your record. You can't just a DJ pan sound. You have your record. Watch your style now. He was a youth from Augustown of a Jungle 12 with name Bill. Zane, top man at the place and thing. And me and him go to school and he must say, yo, you know, you know a producer at Waterhouse, you know. I carry go check them. This producer now, it was a dual. Marshall and Myrie. Zane? Marshall and Myrie, a lot of people know of Marshall and Myrie, but a lot of people still don't know them. Yeah? They That's why we come at class tonight. Yeah, there was the main producer for Junior Reed, Half Pint, Pad and Tony. Due to political fiction. fiction. Yeah, Sally, when your marry said, if you bring me joy. Babylon released the chain and they might use them. them really. Yeah. So they are the ones that Bill brought me to in Waterhouse. See? So them came around at jammies and back then they was doing live albums and, and, and stuff like that. See? So yeah. when them came around at jammies, jammies here, I'm on. See? And it's a king. This is this. Let me tell you something. You know, a lot of people just don't know. You know, it's a lied James, aka King Jamis. Yo, them man they have a heroes. Me don't know where them get it from. You know, no seriously. No, them man they when them them man they listen. Them man they them man they them man they are surgeon in the music business. You know, them man they them man they are a scientist in the music business. You know. No, no, this this no joke in a fire. I am telling you, the man hear me and does no say. Him tell Marshall to tell me for come back, come check him. Zin and I went back and checked Jammy on my own. Yeah. Zin, and 
Jammy always or you know like oh some back then you know if you don't have no name and nobody no know you you can't go near Jammy's gate you know yeah you can't go near Jammy's gate you have a youth near Mappy or Billy Bravo or Soji and man they broke in our pieces as a matter of fact, them don't even have to touch you when them man they go so and say, Yo, yo, where are you, sir? Bow from you, sir. You shame like a dog. Yeah, <laughs> but because I think because of it was Marshall and Myrie, two top man in our house, you see me, who actually brought me to Jammy. And Jammy actually heard I man and, and, and figure one this, yo, and you have the potential to do the thing. Yeah, that is how I met Jammy and, you know, go back, go check Jammy and start DJ for Jammy and. Start recording for Jammy. When I met Jammy, you know, Jan Jan was a, well, was eleven years old. Baby G was like about eight or nine. Jam <laughs> Jam two never born yet, fire. <laughs> Jam two never born yet. So last year I know. See? But um that is where I, I got that break now, you know, where start record. And actually, you know, it, it never even took me long, you know. I, I just low Black Star because I I, I I stay about maybe like two years with Black Star, yeah. Because I say yeah. eighty one, by eighty three I was at Jammies, and you know. So what song? What song was the first song your voice at Jammy? Jinala Jinal General a General. A song named Jinala Jinal General a General. I want to tell you, you know. To be honest with you, um, I could have made. A lot more hits, you know. Yeah, because even like the Punani rhythm and and, 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 and the, the Chinatown rhythm and a lot yeah. more rhythm that Jami put out back then. Uh, let, 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 let me tell you what, what, what actually... I start, I start like get frustrated over the music business after a while, you know. In a short space of time, you know. You see, by 80, 87, 88, it's like, it's like, I'm like, back then, you know, music was selling like, whoa. When people say music are number one and I'm like, no, you know, because this is how they used to, this is how you used to know that music was number one. Yeah. You remember, you have a lot of record store in Jamaica. Yeah. Work, island wide, a lot of record store. No, every, I think it was every Wednesday or Thursday, you used to have the people them, go around to the record store. Yeah. And they'd see the sales of the yeah. record. And based on the sales, yeah, when them tally up, you would know who is number one, who is number and and, 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 and so forth down the line. Yeah? yeah. When 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 green sleeve and whoever yeah. put out tuna England, Zane, and you hear say yeah, number one and whether black echo chart or whichever chart it is, yo, you know new Yo, you know, say a piece of food, did it? But yeah. the thing is now, you know, back then, I, I can't even say, there, or we used to say, we used to have a saying that, oh, the producer, them rob me, and the producer, them rob me, and the, yeah, some producer are thief. Some producer are thief, but here one know, me can't say that about Jamie. I'm going to tell you why, because here why I cannot say that about Jamie now, because Jammy as always have I close as a bona fide brethren, a bona fide like, like him son, saying yeah. and me I one of the one where could have where did have access to Jammy studio, Jammy house, Jammy we take off him going and put it in my hand that's how much Jammy trust I, me, I may tell you something say, me and Admiral Bailey it's a me and uh, Admiral Bailey, eh? Is like jammy biological pick me there. See? Yeah. And then the reason why I can't say jammy did rob I because jammy was also a young producer back then too. And it's yeah. some of the producer back then, they themselves never know the fullness about royalties. So maybe. Sometime, you know, if Jamie would record some tune and would go overseas and maybe get an advance, maybe I would be looking for a 
a money out of the advance and yeah. you might not get it. You know, Jam, I not beat you, man. You know, break him. You know, but sometimes I might not get a thing out of the advance and I might bend up the face and thing and thing. You know? But as time go, goes along, Zane, we find out, say, some of the people them like Gussie oh, Clark. All right, well, no, no, don't not the, no, don't not the next before you say it. You said some of the people like whom? Gussie Clark. Okay, okay. Steely. Bobby Digital. Mm hmm Listen to what me say. Yeah. Gussie Clark. Mm hmm Steely. Mm hmm Bobby did me now go beat Steely too bad, still you know. Me now go yeah. beat Steely too bad. Me now go beat him too bad. But you see, I'll Bobby Digital. Me not care. Yeah. Me not care. Yo, you see, Bobby Digital. The mm -hmm. man, they call, uh, they man, they are pirate of the Caribbean. Wow. You hear me tell you? You hear me say? I mean, oh. I take it back. Who not like it? Drop dead. Me say, Bobby Digital, he is. The pirate of the Caribbean. Mm hmm Ask Sisla Kalanchi. Ask enough of the man them. Ask Admiral Tibet. Zane. God rest Garnet Silk Soul. Yeah? Ask Lieutenant Stitchy. Ask them man de. Yeah? And ask Shabba Ranks. Whoa. You hear me tell you? It goes yes, far as Shabba Ranks. No, no school, no man. Listen. And me, I tell you that, you know, them thing, you know, you're not joking, you know. Yo, my lord, the amount of, the amount of artists, when me say cry, I water. I water. Of it's after, it's after, it's after, it's after, it's. And I'll so-called Christmas, but born Christmas right now, but back then, so-called Christmas, and them have had some little youth, and not even, not even a little toy. Them can't buy for them you show them people. Yeah? But them show and mush up the place and the people in you know, them area say, yo, them rich, them rich, them make money, them didn't. Nah. The good thing with King, he said, Jammy, we could have got to Jammy at any time and say, King, you yeah, hear me? And him say, all right, Tonto. Yeah? People like me, it's special around King. Is it me? Yeah. My lord. The man there, the man there, the man only for the man there. Yeah, I'm telling you another, another producer that I cannot beat too bad. I did one song for him. Yeah. And I think um is either me or King Yellowman was the first DJ that mm -hmm. Donovan Jermaine recorded yeah. as a DJ. I did a song for him named World Best Lover on the yeah, I played, I played like, it earlier. What one dance can do with him. Yeah? yeah. I did a song for him. And 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 the amount of money. I remember when I did the song, he gave me a thousand US advance. And this was like 1987. Whoa. Yeah. That's a that's a yeah. big period. Listen, yeah, and he gave me a thousand dollars advance, right? But never see Donovan Jeremy again. Until maybe about eighty nine, and him give me two thousand US. After listen what me are saying, that's why me can't beat Jeremy. You see me? Well, listen, you know, one song, you know. But listen, I found out that on that rhythm, the pressure and slide rhythm, the Beris Aman song was not his. That's what I found out, and the Beris Aman song was not on that album. Yeah. So my song, yeah, and yeah. then I saw a song, and the Yellow Man song was carrying the album, and the album did exceptionally well, yeah. So you find say I was properly compensated mm -hmm. for that for for for, for that for, for that one song from Donovan, and, and that was in the that was in the earlier days before before his label was established as as Pentos as, as Pentos, correct, yeah. Because uh, I had on, I had cut it, cut it ranks on a couple of weeks ago, mm. and he had some gross with Donovan Jermaine said saying that Jermaine said something about him, and then he was saying that Jermaine never give him a royalty check or ever collect any money from Jermaine from way back in the days with all those old bunch of songs that he did for Pentos label. 
All right. The thing is, you know, the thing is, you know, you have different strokes for different folks. All right. You hear what when he said about Jeremy? Excuse me. All right. Jeremy and other artists, I don't know if they have the same relation. Relationship. No, no, no. Relation boat. Relation boat. Relation canoe. As me. Ship too big. <laughs> you understand? So it's like, like, like I'm saying again, you know. Really and truly, me never get a royalty check from nowhere neither, you know. Me never get a royalty check, you know. But then, after a while, I found out that back in our days, right, we were so naive where royalties is concerned or are, are publishing. We had no idea we were just in it for the love. Yeah? And if money come, money come. Yeah. Or if money forward, money forward. You see what I say? So it's like, yes. but, you know, some of the some of the people them again like Gossy Clark and Bobby Digital. And you know what? You know what? You know what hurt me about all the one Bobby Digital. You know what hurt me? When Bobby Digital, I was around Jammies before Bobby Digital. Bobby Digital came to Jammies mm -hmm. as a I think he was a, 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 a apprentice technician or electrician. I think it was an oh, electrician. Okay. Because when I first, when Bobby first came to Jammies, you know, I mean, I mean, I okay, care when nobody wants to say, you know, me, yo, me, 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 me just a chat, you know, because it is what it is, you know. Bobby Digital was using a, a cold chisel to, to, to dig out the wall for a junction box. Yeah. For Jammies, you know? And I don't know what him and Jammies talk about, but did you know that John John, Lai James Jr. John John taught Bobby Digital the work. Did you know Oh, that? this is story to me. All right, listen. Listen, you can take this to the bank and you're going to get your check cash. John John at 11 years old taught Bobby to cut dub because that is what Bobby started to do first. Bobby Digital cut a, uh, broke about eight needle before him could have cut one job, dub. John John was the one who showed him how to cut the dub. John John, Jammy had a hair trap board. Hair trap. Yeah? John John. Jammy's help, you know, perfect the thing with him. But John John was the one who started to show Bobby Digital the work. Big up the great John John. You hear me say? No, after Bobby Digital leave Jammy and go up on him own, all hell broke loose. All hell broke loose. Yeah? And me now the, story, the story is that um, Bobby Digital is the one that really put focus into Shabarangs. So when he left and did is one thing, this one label, Shabba started to record a lot of songs with him. Listen, 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 listen. Bobby Digital, Elbow Jammy and I'm short ribs and take with Shabba Ranks. Because, <laughs> listen, listen. Um, um, when, when, when Shabba Ranks did Fresh, that time Red Dragon, because guess what? Fresh, Fresh was Shabba Ranks song, you know? Song him all on a beard from morning. Run Fresh was Shabarang Shan, a thief, Red Dragon, tape it. But Red Dragon oh. won it. And um, um, Shabba won come out after that time. The place don't hear Red Dragon own already. I mash up the place. Yeah? Okay. So guess what? Shabba was going to eat. And Jam is label same way. Because guess what? In my humble opinion, Shabba adapt a little from major worries yeah yeah that i heard that something there under 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 far something there yeah again i don't know if this is a fact but because i was there when major worries was there yeah 
when me a hear Shabba, a major worry is me a hear. Yeah. You understand me? So me know him, 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 him get something from major worries. Yeah? yeah. But yeah. whether it was Bobby Digital or Jammies, yeah, Shabba was going to eat any way you take it. But guess what? It's a Bobby Digital. Yeah? Me now said Jarvis him soul. Um, sorry, same past. Because I wish him should have there in, in person to hear me and beat him. Yeah? Because him forget beaten because me I tell you something. You say I'll stitch it. Eh? You say stitch it. We should stitch it. Do a whole heap of tune for, for, for Bobby Digital. You think him getting the money? Not even a dollar. Hmm. Yeah? Hey. When Bobby Digital passed him and Kalanchi in a chat. And him get the, Listen. You think a fattest get Kalanchi belly? Eh? A Bobby Digital. Oh, I, the big, it's the monster eat them. A bad yeah. digital. Yeah? You know, your little culture, I tell you. So, I, I, I talk, so I carry, yo, all of the monster eat them. The yeah. big, major thing them for Kalanchi. A Bobby Digital have it. When, when he's dead, he want to make peace with Kalanchi. But it was too late. Yeah? The man so, there, yo. So, and the thing so, is, you know. So, there's those, I know. <clears throat> In my little time, we did an album called Rise to the Occasion with Sizzler Kalanji. Then, me have a song on it, Baby G. All of us it was in there creatively. Right. And creatively doing, doing the album and stuff. And I know Bobby, Fattis and Bobby have like some monster hits with Sizzler Kalanji. Yo, you would even like, no, my lad. And, and, and guess I know, yo, a long time we want to build show to all of them something, you know, because I tell you, you know, the man them, yo, may I tell you something? The man them, the man them for sheer the wealth fire. The man them for sheer the wealth. So I don't want to go to talk about, yo, 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 I done more and done some of them in a verbally too, you know, that may I tell you, you know. May I tell you, you know, because I guess the whole of them, you know, in them big empire and sit on and rare and they look at you, them. They look at you, because may, may I tell you something? You see, back then, you talk about the producer and the DJs and singers. The youth, them, they have them talent too. So with the combination of the youth, them talent, and you as the producer, <coughs> That is why I'm a real the look at you them nowadays. You see the artists them now, because I don't want you to feel like saying I'm all over the globe, you know, but stay with me. You see, look at you them, the popcorn, the massacre, the 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 the, the skilly thing, the 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 the, 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 the you, you understand what I say? Yeah. Um yo. I hate them. Yeah, I'ma tell you why. Because no, them not have to wait on some yo, a big people thing. You know, them not have to wait on some Pussy, yeah, if you talk about who oh, me, I could do this. I don't forget beaten to you know, Dan Carleone, you know, you're your bridging. You have that, you forget some beaten to you know, Dan Carleone, a pussy that me, I tell you, all him, yo, you leave light, no, yo, me all over the globe, yo, made me right now as a big man made at you right now for all them pussy there, you know, because it's Dan, it's a baby J, you know, in a cool face, you know, in a yeah. Days after days, me and Jam too. They got Jam too. And Baby G up the side. You know, at the, and me, me, turn to Irie. Tell Dan Carleone. Say, Dan Carleone, this is your first rhythm where you put out. My dance. Yeah. And me, I run Jammy's distribution. Give to Jammy. Make Jammy distribute it. See? Yo. Yo, Jam out. Hey. Dan Carleone is one of the luckiest producers ever living. Eh? The yeah. first rhythm the man put out, which is Madans, you know. You know that, right? They you know the first rhythm the man put out with Madans. Break big. Yeah? I'm a little yeah. sick. Me, that, that, that's why I say, I say as an elder as an elder artist, me is a man, you know. Me not running, you know. Me not running. I'm running. I'm running. I'm in a friend, me not friend people. I don't even like people like that, me I tell you. Because you all done, you all go around there, and then I lock all them, I look on the camera and see you, and I go on like a pussy. That's why you I know, say, the, man. Yo. the reason why I started the live late, you know, I was talking to Red Rat. He called me earlier for reasoning about something, and then went into a meeting, and then when I went on the road and come back, he called me. So I was talking to him, and I want to look and say, Red Rat, back side, they said, 30 past already, I'm going to start the live yet. So when I turn on the live, I said, people are ready to start the live late. So, Red Rock was talking to me about something, and he was.